Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. How are you? For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a pretty, pretty large Dollar Tree haul. So I recently went to the Dollar Tree with my bike, of course, and picked up a bunch of goodies. I've done already two other Dollar Tree hauls and then like a what's in the Dollar Tree kind of video type of thing. Um, so I'll have those videos linked down below. So how I decided to make this video is I wanted to actually show you guys a little bit of what the store has to offer and then I'll share with you guys everything that I picked up because they had so much goodies there that I felt like it would kind of be like a sin for me not to show what they have. You know what I'm saying? And I'll share with you guys what I picked up. You do not want to miss what I picked up because let me tell you, we got some bomb products. So much goodies to choose from. A full, full aisle just for school supplies and everything looks absolutely amazing. I just have to focus on these composition notebooks. Look at how cute this one is. My nephew would probably love that. So yeah, they have, I want to say, about 10 different styles to choose from. And then they have this whole section here of like um, gel pens, pencils, some big white out. They also have these cool double-sided markers. And look at all of these fun little spiral notebooks. I love, love, love them. They have this full wall of goodies that they're literally just um, putting up now. I absolutely love seeing Crayola at the Dollar Tree. It makes me so happy. I honestly feel like I really need a calculator in my life. It would just be nice to have, you know? Look at these neon pencils. I'm about that life. And they also have this massive set of coloring markers here. These are so cute, scented pens. We get blueberry, strawberry, and grape. I also have a bunch of newer scrapbooking goodies here. A lot of you guys told me they use scrapbooks. I figured I would show this section. They have even more awesome products here. I have to really get back into scrapbooking. A lot of you guys were like, can you make a video on it? And I really should because I'm obsessed with scrapbooking. I've done at least 10 in my lifetime. <laughs> right up front, they have a bunch of these snacks. I figured I would show it to you guys in case you spot any of your favorites. And don't forget, they're a dollar. <laughs> so cheap. All right, in the actual snack aisle here now, I cannot believe that they have these Keebler's um, Elfin Crackers. They look amazing, and these are usually so, so pricey. It's three in a pack for a dollar. Know how I love my natural snacks. This right here is literally made with just apples. Um, no additional ingredients. I think I want to get this. They also have a ton of these adult coloring books here, which I think is so beyond cool because um, you can kind of get a feel of what these are about without spending way too much money on one specific coloring book. I love the Kaleidoscope one the most, and I would say this one is my favorite. Then we have this section here of more school supplies. I'm telling you, these things just make me so happy. I had to pick one of these up because, you know, I need some highlighters in my life. They also have these really cute uh, Trolls World Tour crayons, which I think is adorable. They also have one from Frozen and then Toy Story up here as well. And then I think that these are really cute. They're basically like pencil cases, like tin pencil cases. You probably can't fit a ton in here, but I don't know what it is I'm about this life. I'm about it. Look how cute these designs are. I love it. Ooh, we got a dinosaur one here. I feel like this is making me so happy right now. It's kind of giving me like nostalgic vibes. I don't know what it is, but I think I remember having something like this as a kid. It's like one of those like fuzzy pens. No freaking way. Lisa Frank stickers? I cannot believe this. I love Lisa Frank. I have so much stationery from Lisa Frank and this for a dollar, I feel like I just need to take like 12 packs now, honestly. like. This is a dream come true for me. <laughs> they also have this sticker um, pack from Frozen. It's also really cute, but it doesn't hit home for me as much as the Lisa Frank one because I grew up with like Lisa Frank, I'm telling you. I know a lot of you guys told me you did too. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of what Dollar Tree has to offer. They really, really, honestly, they blew my socks with my feet, let me tell you. All right, so now let me share with you guys what I picked up. So let's start off with some tissues. I decided to get some frozen tissues this time because last time when I went, I didn't have the frozen themed ones, I don't think. And it always reminds me of my niece, Carmela. She's six. She loves frozen too. So I don't know. I figured I would have this around. Okay, these tissues are not like a brand name, but they're really good. They're like decently soft. I also picked up a box of Kleenex tissues. This right here is just a small little box, but I needed to have that like fuzzy life, you know? Yum. These are just literally heaven scent. I also picked up these scrub buddy like pads. You guys know I mentioned in my other video that usually with these kind of products I'll cut them into twos or fours so it lasts me forever. I like to use this either for dishes or for like the bathroom, cleaning bathroom, whatever, you know, separate ones though. So yeah, I stocked up on these for a dollar. I mean, when it comes to 12 pieces in here, 10. I picked up these two snacks. I think this is the only snacks I picked up. So this right here is the Munch Right Apple Cinnamon Flavored Baked Puffs and I purposely did not like eat this on my own even though I was tempted 
I was like, let me do like a first impression taste test situation here on my um, channel so you guys can see. It smells pretty good, very cinnamony. Yum. Oh my goodness. It has like a cereal vibe to it. If you like munching on cereal, you probably really like this. I think this happens to be vegan. Yeah, it happens to be vegan as well. So I'm like, win-win situation. It, they're really good. Wow. I would go back and get more. Then I just picked up a bag of nuts, you know, so that I could have like for on the go and all of that. I figured it would be nice to just grab and go. All right, now let's get into what is in this bag. Here's where the goods are really, really at. Firstly, I picked up more food for Cleo. Cleo is my outside cat. Love her. I actually picked up four of these, but I purchased these products like a little bit over a week ago. So I'm up to like my third can. This is my fourth one. I have to actually go back and get more food for her. But yeah, I picked up a few of these. I love it because the value is amazing and she loves this food. Then I went ahead and picked up two notebooks for myself. I love to use notebooks for like journaling or to write down video ideas, to just write down anything really honestly if i need to pick up something or whatever um and i needed to feel like that school vibe you know so i picked up the you glow girl um notebook and then this one right over here which pretty much has like star power unicorn like my niece says and then i picked up these so this right here is just a pack of three highlighters i'm actually curious to see if they're gonna like actually highlight or it's just gonna be like a light situation let's let's, let's check this out pretty good pretty pretty good i think it's gonna highlight on paper better because on the back of this it has more like a laminated feel but they seem like they're pretty pigmented i'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this i haven't used highlighters for ages then i went ahead and picked up these really cute pens i just really loved the design of them they're really pretty actually they're not even pens they're markers marker okay so here's what the marker looks like it's pretty nice it doesn't bleed or anything and helps me write pretty neat even though these are markers i'll probably just use it as like a pen um, in my new composition notebook so we get a red and a green shade in here then i picked up these gel pens i used to be obsessed with gel pens as a kid um and i was just i was surprised to see this at a dollar tree it's just it's super cool i just so i just wrote with the gel pens and they're really really nice i won't say they're the smoothest ever but they're they're pretty pretty good like they write nicely they don't skip and I, I really like it so far I'm, I'm like I can't believe I got this for a dollar then I needed to have some fuzzy in my life you guys know I call my niece fuzzy not Carmela um Sophie she's actually one and a half so my brother um gave her that name as like a cutesy baby name yum so anytime I call her I'm like fuzzy come you yes oh my goodness this writes so so well i did not expect that i really thought this was gonna be like really really crappy <laughs> i just bought it because of the, the look this would be so cute to give to someone or if you're just gonna use it like at work or something it's, it's adorable i can't believe that we really found good stuff this time next up i picked up some scotch tape so i picked up this really like big one for like you know packaging packages and all of that um i always need that i also picked up this one i picked this up last time and i really really like it it does tape really well the only con i will say is that there isn't a ton in here which is fine it was a dollar but i just think it's so easy to use and it, it works like a charm and then i just picked up this like dual pack of regular scotch tape i just like to have these handy at home you know you always need tape so then i picked up this really cute uh, mini clipboard i really just wanted a pack of papers i figured this could be nice to use with my composition notebook as like a post-it in a way um so in addition to this i picked up these paper clips so i can kind of like paper clip this to my composition notebook you know what i'm saying these uh colorful paper clips were just way too cute to pass up on i know that staples sells colorful paper clips for at least two or three or four dollars so to get this for a dollar just beyond me and there are 80 pieces in here so i figured it would be fun to spice up anything because they're so colorful and fun oh i forgot to show you guys this when i showed you guys cleo's food but i picked this picked up this little non-skid bowl for cleo um so i usually give it to her like in a tupperware like a little tupperware or something um and it doesn't really skid or anything but i figure you know it's about time she has her own little vibey situation going on so i figured this is just so cute and this is another dollar i was like i cannot pass up on this and also i feel like it's gonna be really really easy to wash and i think she's gonna like it it's gonna be her own dedicated little bowl okay i picked up another snack this is the so natural free these dried apple slices these looked amazing so basically just you know dried apples they happen to be vegan and I like the fact that there are no additional ingredients in here it's just apples so great snack for like on the go also I could not believe that they literally had the post-it brand at the Dollar Tree so this comes with two posted like pads um, 176 in each pad 
and I couldn't pass up on this because again, like even in Staples, they sell this for four dollars. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot for paper. Yeah, I was like, your girl needs to have this in her life. Um, I figured I would also use this with my composition notebook just to jot things down and then slap it on. Okay, and then in my last Dollar Tree haul, I showed you guys a uh, VO5 conditioner and shampoos. Uh, so this time around, I wanted to pick up the Suave brand, also a brand that my mother used to buy a lot when we were kids. I have been using the VO5 um, shampoo as a body wash and it's just perfect. It smells amazing. And I did use the conditioner for shaving and I really like it for a dollar. Um, so anyway, I picked up the Suave Apple, the Juicy Green Apple shampoo, which I'll probably use as like body wash. I'll probably not use, I, I will definitely not use this for my hair because my hair is still like specific but then I also picked up the waterfall mist if you don't have such picky hair and your hair is okay with anything try and see if, <laughs> try and see if you're if you would enjoy this it smells really really good a great apple scent and this right here yeah just smells very very clean just like a waterfall mist then you guys will not believe this after I put those in like my car I was just like looking around like in the hair section to see what else they have and I could not believe that they literally had the Garnier Fructis pure clean dry shampoo like what for a dollar I was like there's no way so my hair doesn't necessarily get oily I would say it usually just gets frizzy like that's to the most part what happens um but i really 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 love to use dry shampoo to add a lot of volume in my hair i don't even know what this smells like yum yum i can't believe this was a dollar i'm telling you in the drugs like look at this come on you know what i'm saying <laughs> in the drugstore this is at least six at least so yeah there were like barely four pieces left i definitely had to pick up two then i picked up two of these glade solid air fresheners so from time to time i'll pick these up i really like the clean linen scent they usually have the clean linen scent there and i think the berry scented one which is also really good but i happen to like this because it has more like a clean maybe like homier scent in my opinion i guess but yeah i really love these for a dollar also i'm gonna stop saying that right now it's kind of getting annoying glade is such an amazing brand so to find these products there i was like whoa and i went ahead and picked up some band-aids i figured this would be just way too fun to skip out on this right here is the emoji band-aid little pack i thought that was so cute i love wearing any type of band-aid it doesn't have to be the solid one i actually prefer when it has like some form of design on it it only has 20 on the inside so maybe not the bestest value ever, but I, I couldn't skip out on this cutesiness, really. So here are what the emoji band-aids look like. So, so, so cute. And then I picked up this one right here, which is the Jojo Sia, Suya um, pack of bandages. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this specific one for myself. My niece is actually coming on Friday, God willing. So excited to see her. So maybe I'll give this to her. I'll ask her, hey, Carmel, do you need bandages? And she'll be like, yes or no. <laughs> and then I guess I'll take it from there. But I'm pretty sure she's going to say yeah. I also picked up this pack of stickers. Dollar Tree has such a massive selection of really cutesy stickers. So I couldn't skip out on this one. Same with these Toy Story stickers. We get 96 stickers for a dollar. Finally, I saved the best for last. I could not believe that I found these Lisa Frank sticker booklets at the Dollar Tree. This was like, I was just like, whoa. Like, it took me a minute to really, like, comprehend what's going on. Because I'm like, I just did not expect this. Um, so, yeah, I was so excited. I picked up five. I'm definitely going to give one to my niece. Probably one to my cousin. Possibly one to my sister. And then just have maybe one or two around just for gift giving. It comes with literally 600 stickers on the inside. And this just brings back such memories from my childhood and I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Like, I actually also bought a scissor, but I used it to cut my lashes today. So it's somewhere over there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys recently went to the Dollar Tree and purchased anything. I would absolutely love to know. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and speak to you guys in the comments below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.